Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guess what? It's the last week in my academic passion planner. Can you believe it? It's been a whole year. Oh, I'm like, I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad to see it go, but you know, I'm excited. So much happened. So many things happened this year. And so as sad as I am to see it leave, I'm excited to start a fresh new planner and nothing's more exciting than setting new goals and that new, that new newness. You know what I'm saying. So for this week, I kind of struggled with what I wanted to do because it's the last week in this planner and that's like, that's kind of a task. Some people suggested watercolor, but I didn't want the watercolor to like mess up my beautiful washi work that I did the week before because it was so much washi and washi plus water doesn't really work. So I kind of decided against that and then someone else said to recreate one of my favorite spreads from the year and I was really, really, really close to doing that. But then I was like, let's do something kind of weird. And I was like, you know, trying to, talking to Ian, like, what should I do, what should I do? And he's like, I don't know. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let you decide what I should do. I was like, go to my washi wall and select between five and seven rolls of washi at your whim, and those are the rolls of washi that I'll use. So that's what we did. So let me grab the rolls of washi that he picked, and he actually did a pretty good job. I don't know if I would have picked all of these together, but at least they're all the same like color family. So lots of blues, and then we have one that has like a corally pink orange color and then one that has like a bright pink and then we have this really bright blue one on the bottom so it's a little weird like these ones totally all go together and then we have like these weird misfit ones over here so yeah let's see what we're gonna do with that so then I was like okay cool and I just went through and I pulled out a bunch of stickers Luckily, I had a ton of stickers made in the navy color palette. So I pulled out a bunch of navy. Let's set you to the side. Navy, navy, navy. And then I was like, okay, so we got some navy. And then I was like, okay, then there's like that one, like this one and this one have like some periwinkle in it. So I pulled out a bunch of periwinkle. I found an old social media tracker sticker and I might use that. This might be something that needs to come back. Um, so I have a bunch of periwinkle and then we got to like the pinks and I'm like, okay, like do we go with a light pink or do we go with a CBD pink? because I don't have to use all the washies. I mean, that's a lot of washies unless you're, you're really going crazy. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe taking this one out and doing this, which is kind of similar to my 4th of July spread. But this one, like out of all of them, this one doesn't fit. Let's just do it. If it turns out awful, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead. I think I'm gonna do this guy for along the top. He's kind of weird and not that sticky though. So I'm gonna just like tear off a piece. And let's go ahead and let's cover, you know, I think I used this one in this year. Oh, similar. I bet it was in the same washi pack, but it wasn't that one specifically. Okay, that's okay, because guess what? We're using it now. So we'll go ahead and use the washi to cover up our days of the week, so then we can change my weekly spread from a Monday start or Sunday start to a Monday start. Okay, we did that. Now I'm thinking of using 
the CBD pink stickers to change my planner from a Sunday start to a Monday start. Just because I have a lot of blue washi tape, so I'm thinking that using the CBD stickers will kind of help balance out all the navy. Let's do a little... I'm just not quite sure I want to do the CBD pink. And apparently I don't have days of the week in navy, so it's either this periwinkle or the CBD pink. I'm kind of digging the periwinkle more. Okay, we'll see if I regret that later. <laughs> like, maybe I should have stuck with all blues. Like, this would have been really pretty with, like, periwinkle underneath it. I just figured I should try to use the weird, the weird washi tape and be a team sport. But now I'm kind of regretting my decisions. Well, we'll keep going, and I can always change this top part if I really don't like it, because this washi tape isn't that sticky, and I can just peel the stickers off the washi tape. So let's not, let's not panic. Let's not lay down any more CBD pink stickers first, though. And let's look at the stickers that can go around the edge. So I have this sticker that just covers this bar. I do have a social media tracker sticker and I'm kind of wanting to use that. Um, blank good things, to-do list, and most important next step. I know I have a cover for this week's focus in the periwinkle color, but I didn't grab it. But I know I have one if I need to put that down. Because I kind of want to do, do that. So I'm going to use this blank good things. And then I want to use this uh, social media sticker. It's been a while since I've used one. But I'm thinking it's just the sticker I need for this week. You can definitely tell it's one of my older stickers by how this gray looks. It was definitely printed on one of my older printers. And then, of course, a to-do list, which I'm glad I had made. Totally creased that. Whoops. That's okay. It's not too, too bad. It happens to the best of us. Okay, so now for the week stickers. I'm gonna steer away from the CBD pink. I'm thinking I'm gonna change this. I'm thinking very strongly I'm going to change that. I don't know why I'm just drawn to this one and I know it just seems like a really dark blue but it's almost like a denim texture. Should we just do it? Should we just get it over with? Let's just get it over with, okay? So I'm gonna peel this guy off. Okay, I'm liking that so much more. Ah, <sighs> okay. I feel, I feel at peace now. So the stickers that I have, um, we have some to-do lists and the flourish, which I haven't used the flourish to-do list in a while, so that could be a fun one to use. Um, I do have fitness in both colors, and then top three currently reading and some time interval blocks. So let's See what we can do with those because there is going to be a lot of blank space. I did pull out just two rolls of just some thinner stripped washi just to like line things out because he didn't pull any thin stripped washi and I use these a lot in my planner spreads. So let's see. This is just going to look obnoxious. It 
is pretty bright, but it's not that awful. <sighs> tricky. This is tricky. I'm trying to decide. I always like to do a little background on these little flourish to do guys, and I want to use like the washi tape that he used. Maybe I'll trim it so it's not as wide. I might like that more. So I put down a little flourish to do guy and they're about an hour width height. And so I'm thinking that maybe if I just trim it so this washi tape isn't as wide, I might like it more and it'll be a good background for the sticker. Like that. Okay. I like that so much better now that that washi tape is skinny. Oh, I should. I'm just going to trim right here really quick. Okay, so I'm kind of mimicking my old planner style where instead of using the timelines, I do use this more as a to-do list, which is similar to my current planner style, but my current planner style, I do use the timelines a little bit more just in the fact that I put in like my workout schedule and then base my work hours around that. This one's gonna be a little bit more, I'm just gonna use it as a vertical planner. So, keep that in mind if you're like, what are you doing? I didn't even realize I was like reverting back to that style until like I realized that I started with my to-do list instead of my workout schedule, which is what I normally start with. Okay, now that that's done, I can kind of set those aside and take a look at my current sticker situation. So I love the currently reading and I love the fitness. I do have um, a brunch, a birthday brunch on Saturday. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little time interval block right there. And I guess technically I'll use the timeline for this. So there's, there you go. Somehow you can have both. And then I think I am going to use the Periwinkle Fitness stickers just because I have navy in the other two colors. I want to give, give Periwinkle a shot. Okay, I have my workout schedule in. Now I think we're going to do a currently reading, but I'm kind of wondering if I should do like a washi tape background underneath those just to use some of the tapes that Ian picked out. So I'm kind of thinking of this geometric one. Okay, last sticker I have are these to top three to do's. And I'm trying to decide if I should just put them right underneath or if I should like leave some space or if I should even use them at all. Hmm. I'm having a thought. I'm just going to move this guy over. I have this bright blue. Oh, that went very well. I have this bright blue washi tape. And I'm thinking what if I like lay down a section for a to-do list
And then I can use this bright blue washi tape just right along the bottom like I was initially planning. I kind of really like boxes everything in. So let's see if I like it or not. I don't hate that. However, I do think I'm going to cut out the timelines because it just is heavy. So I'm just going to go through with my ruler and my slice and just cut out these timelines so it's not so heavy along the bottom. Okay, overall, it didn't turn out as bad as I thought. I actually kind of like it. It's very oceany. Um, at least he picked monochromatic colors. They were all blues. So that made it a little bit easier on me. I didn't use the weird wild colored patterns. Uh, I, maybe I should have and maybe, you know, I, I bent the rules a little bit by not using them, but I just couldn't quite figure it out, especially with all the other monochromes. It's like either go all crazy colors or all monochrome colors. I don't know. So anyways, this is how this turned out and I want to know, would you let your significant other pick out your color palette or your stickers or your washi tape for a week? What do you think they would pick out? Could you do it? Would it turn out okay or would it turn out to be a disaster? I kind of want some other people to give it a try and see how it works out. And of course, if you do try it, make sure to tag me so I can see it. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye.